Hi everybody, I'm Jane. And I'm Julie. And today is Saturday, August 13th, 2022, and this is Cinco de Floss Tube, <laughs> episode number five of Running with Scissors, Stitching with Jane and Julie. And we like to take a minute to thank all of you who have joined us today. If you're new here, welcome. We're happy to see you. We hope that if you like what you see, that you'll hit the like button and subscribe. And if you're a returning friend, it's nice to see you again. And we also want to give a special thanks to Sarah of Sarah Stitchy Spot, mm -hmm. who was kind and generous enough to mention us in her latest video. And so if you are a friend of Sarah's and you're now a friend of ours, thank you very much and welcome. And again, many thanks to Sarah. Yes, thank you very much. Very kind words. Yeah. And thank you for all of your comments. We really appreciate reading them and hearing from you. And I read them and like them throughout as the day as they come in. And Jane has been so kind to write all of the um, reply comments. So thank you, Jane, for doing that. You're very welcome. Well, I I guess I'm just going to say this is take two. We aren't, we aren't editors, we aren't deleters, but when you've got a good thing going and the camera goes black, start over. Row, row. So. I have a newfound respect for all of the AV kids in high school that oh had to come God. in and hook up the old scratchy uh, health videos. Terrible. That we had to watch. I, I've never been. It's kind been, of a helpless feeling. I was near tears. I'm like, where's our, death. where's our videos? What support. Happened? Yeah, I had it all written out and then they left town. All right, so. We'll have to talk fast. Yeah, just in well, case. now we'll have to just try to recreate all of our wonderful magic. <laughs> magic <laughs> from earlier. Two. Well, um, delightful details. Yes. That was an adventure. Uh, no hair, no makeup, but to make your hands do what your mouth is saying was a. I was on the struggle bus, I'll tell you. But I thought you did an awesome job. Lots of positive comments. We did have a fun time. M&Ms were involved. And my M&M game is strong. Yes, yes it is. They were quite the hit. So <laughs> The third star of the show, M&Ms. Exactly. Peanut and plain. I know. The best combo. So what uh, moving forward we need is maybe some suggestions on what you would like for us to detail. Yeah, um, give, toss out some ideas on course. what you would like to see next. In the comment section, I am a real versed in Hardinger, of course, buttonhole, eyelet, uh, wrapping, perfect cutting, picos. perfect pico, but I also know a lot of specialty stitches, um, long arm. I'm sort of not the best at hem stitching. Herringbone. Yeah, I've got a lot. Algerian I've, eyelets, oh, roads, Well, maybe rash you stitches. can do them. <laughs> That needle darning, that would be kind of fun just oh, to see. Oh, pattern darning. Pattern darning. So anyways, in the comments, if you have any suggestions, we will um, take those into great consideration and get you another delightful yeah. detail. And um, replenish the M&Ms. Yes, number two started soon. I'm in a panic now. I'm afraid our screen's going to go we'll black. we have to talk really fast. Okay, so what did you work on? I worked on a few things, Julie. Thanks for asking. <laughs> I have a new start. Julie and I have kind of this ongoing dialogue about, well, can't you find something to stitch that's not Shepherd's Bush? And I'm like, yeah, I don't think I can. Do that. So I was inspired by looking through the drawer of No Return. I came across a couple Lizzie Kate things that were previous finishes. I'll show those to you another time when we dig into the drawer. Yeah, that was But fun. this is a new start from Lizzie Kate. This is um, Good Friends. And the verse says, good friends are like angels. You don't have to see them to know they are there. And I really love that. That's beautiful. So here is my start. Um, I'm not too crazy about the substitution I made for the goo. <laughs> um, I ran out of rum raisin. Uh, the verse on the top and the verse on the bottom are both uh, rum raisin. Uh, this one up here. And then this one. The opposite down here are both in rum raisin and I ran out so I had color and cotton nearby and I picked a color that had some of that colorway in it in the variegation but it's kind of stripey and I'm not sure so I'm gonna put this one away for a little bit and see if I can um, live with the stripes maybe do a few more letters and see otherwise I'll will uh, I'll have 
have to go shopping for rum raisin. Oh, I told her I might have some, and she goes, <gasps> "That's okay. I'm sure one, one, two, three stitch or someone has it." So I'm, I'll have to replenish and go from there. Uh, once again, another beautiful buckleberry quilt. Yes. Project bag. Yes, oh, love it. Love, love it. it. Just love it. And then I made some good progress on all through the night. Oh, Christmas tree. Oh, man, you should see how much she's done. I managed to finish <clears throat> this entire side. And so I just have this side to go. Well, it's still a substantial amount of stitching, but you made great strides. I did make great how progress. How exciting. I do enjoy not having to um, change threads. I mean, it's just you just stitch with yeah. the variegated. So you can see I've kind of threaded up a couple different needles, and I just go to town and... When I need to take a break for M&M's or Diet Coke or whatever it is, I just thread up two or three more needles and I'm off and running. I can't so. wait to finish that. As much as you want it blocked by my wood guy, I have a different idea that I think will look. It's a mystery. Smashing, darling. Oh, I can't wait, yes. darling. Yes. And then back to a regularly scheduled program, <laughs> which would be Shepherd's Bush. Um, this is my earth. Oh. Okay. And here is my progress. You really did get a lot of stitching done. Jane oh, this, and I haven't oh, seen each other really, in a week, so it's like I'm keeping not... Keeping secrets from each other. Yes. Um, yeah, I finished the basket with mm -hmm. some of the flowers on the top. She has socks now. Oh, fun. And her pretty little shoes. Very um, nice. This is really not appropriate, is it? I don't know which one is it. I cross-stitch so I don't hurt people. Kill people. Well, Kill it's people. the truth. Well, last time I did talk about homicidal um, feelings, so. <laughs> and Jay, it with your job, not with your life. <laughs> well, I don't know. Today, this kind of feels like this a is, job. This is a horrible, horrible. <laughs> I I don't. Well, you know me. You got to have a script. And never did I think it would be devastating not to have a camera that stays yeah. on. So I'm a little rattled. Where are the M&M's? Oh. They're way over oh. there. We're trapped. We're we can't trapped. get to them. Can't get out. That's bad planning on our part, isn't it? Bad, bad. <laughs> I might have to pull out the big scissors. <laughs> I'll do better. Okay. I'll do better. Okay, and this is Come Terry. Oh, did you start Shepherd's on Bush. that? I have a very small start. Well, it's a start. Um, There's my very small start. Oh, a star in the moon. I think very I'm nice. going to have to make another call to Miss Tina. Because I think I have a very old copy of the pattern. There's back stitching, you know, like the little sun rays and stuff. Mm -hmm. It's not mentioned anywhere. I don't know what color. I still have a couple of colors I can't identify. Maria, you were kind enough to send a copy of your very. palette. Very helpful. It helped me verify that the colors that I had identified were right on track with yours. I still have a couple of colors. I don't know what they are. Um, but thank you, thank you so much for taking the time to do that. Yes. I really do yes. appreciate it. And the pattern is quite elderly. <laughs> like that me. It might have um, might I have think changed. it's probably been updated. Yeah. You Could know, be. when I worked at the local needlework store, as soon as the box came in from mm -hmm. Shepherd's Bush, I just took one of each. So my patterns probably go back to the first release mm -hmm. of them. So they've, they've probably been tweaks made. Yep. Since then. And uh, from the designing point of view, boy, does that happen. You know, oh, yeah. you get so involved in the piece. You you have the thought process. You design it. You chart it. You oh, I stitch it. Some have model stitchers who only stitch it as charted, and then mm -hmm. you realize that there was an error. So. And all of the kits are hand charted still, yep. so it's a lot of work. Yep. This is Shepherd's Bush, Bush The Journey. Love that. Wow. And here is my progress. You have been a little stitchy girl. I have been a little. You? Yeah. Wow. Very nice. Yes. Yeah. Love the colors of her dress. I really do love mm -hmm. the colors. Yep. And then these up here, this border, um, all has um straight stitching, satin stitching that fills oh, in. Oh, okay. So that'll be my dessert. I'll save that. Yes. Until last. Um, and that is the extent of my cross stitch whips i do have a hardinger update that we can do later yep i have but a little one too that's what i've been whipping out Whip. how about you 
Well, you know, the delightful detail prep was a little extensive. So that was a lot of work, Julie. That Thank did you. Um, take up a little bit more time than I thought. So I stitched that night during the baseball game for as long as my eyes would allow. I um, have been working on the Something Wicked Box and Smalls. Love that. And I had some good progress. <clears throat> okay, I wish you could see this because even her works in progress <laughs> come very carefully rolled with some kind of beautiful <laughs> ribbon. Well, tape isn't a good thing to keep them from rolling. So I'll just, I don't know how we're going to do this, but. Oh, look at that. There's that. And now wait, I got to pull it this way. Here's some more of it. Oh, wow. You really I got it all were done. busy. Okay. <clears throat> I got it all done, but the end. Okay. <laughs> okay. So on this end, it's supposed to say wrought in 2020, or I would put 2022. So this is for. Uh, my granddaughter, Miss Bella, she loves spooky, scary things, horror movies. Um, she's all about the Halloween-y stuff. And when I saw this pattern, I thought, I'm going to stitch this for her. Just so, you know, in 100 years, she'll go, oh, my grandma sure. stitched this. So I was sitting down to do the rot in, and I thought, hmm. I went and video chatted her, and I said, what you doing? Not much, you know. And I said, okay, do you know what rot in 2020 means? And she goes, no, but I could Google it. And I'm Not like, okay, Google. it means like created and work done and work developed. And she goes, oh, okay. I said, but you know what? I, I don't know. I was thinking maybe I would put um, the Day of the Dead. And she goes, oh, I really like that, Grandma. And, of course, I would say it in Spanish, but I would slaughter it. But I think I'm going to print it, stitch it in Spanish. And the reason is, is um, when she was like, this is a short story, when she was like six or seven years old, Christmas time is the setting, and we were making lefsa. And she goes, why are we mm -hmm. making lefsa? And I said, because it's your great grandma Moore's recipe, Tom's mom. And I said, we do it every year. She taught me how to do it and we do it every year. You know, cause that's like Norwegian. That's yeah. grandpa Tom's heritage. And, and it's just something that we do at the holidays. And Catherine and I have been doing it for about 16 years. So she goes, oh, oh, that's cool, you know. So um, it was about two weeks later, they come over, and I'm like, well, what were you girls up to? And she goes, well, we went to Taco Bell for supper. And I go, well, that sounds really tasty. And she yeah. goes, yeah, it's the food of my people. <laughs> and I just giggle. We hear Really Mar plugged into her Mexican heritage yeah. at Taco Bell. <laughs> Norwegian and Mexican. But I just had to giggle. So we have this little rapport where if we hear a mariachi band or something, she goes, that's the music of my people. You know, she's just she's just so cute about it. And we do embrace um, both her heritage and our heritage. So that's I said, great. I think that's what I'm going to do to customize this for her. And um, she asked if I could maybe put a little skull down there because she likes the skulls too. So we'll see. So it is kind of like a work in progress and a finish kind also of all in finish. one. So next I will start the Something Wicked Lies Within the Box top. Oh, that's and I'll start so great. that. Yeah, I, I was, but it was a fun yeah. thing to do. So now, <laughs> come said the wind. I love this. And I, I'm going to publicly... On video, make an apology because I've just how do I even explain this? Come said the wind, it is so absolutely stunning. I really I had to do it and I had to get the fabric, so I ordered that. It what count did you order it in, Julie? Well, you know, right here on the back it says stitched on 28 count Cyprium. Cyprium. So I went to buy the fabric and I'm like, oh, it comes on, 
in 36 count. And ringing in my head is, oh, you have to try 36 count. Oh, you have to try 40. Oh, go blind with this. You'll love it. <laughs> so, you know, being a little cocky, I thought, I'm going to order this in 36 count. Chain threw down another gauntlet. <laughs> Not even realizing that the center was over one. It doesn't say it's over one. And so you have oh, to read the fine print, I, which is almost as small as literally. 36 over 1. And on the back it says it's over 1, but you don't get the back explanations when you're ordering it online. So I'm apologizing for giving it such a bad rap of being on 36 count because that was my choice. Because it was originally intended for 28 count over 1, which is a whole different ball game yeah. than 36 over yeah. 1. Thanks. Thanks. I found that out real quick. But moving right along, this is my progress. And um, yeah, I it's one strand. Isn't that gorgeous? Oh, it's beautiful. It's one strand over two threads on 36 count. I'd never done it on something this small. I did it on the 30 count, which I didn't like the coverage. I like the coverage on this. Um, I don't like that it's 36 stitches per inch, but I shall well, soldier your, on. Your stitches are beautiful. Are they? Yeah, They're, they look great. They, they, they pass the test, yeah. the Jane test. So I've been working on this. So again, I oh, apologize. The fabric is just amazing. It's gorgeous. I yeah. love it. I amazing. bet you it's just stunning. <laughs> 28 count the called for <laughs> fabric. So. That's, um, those are your whips. Yeah, not too many, but like I said, it's been busy. Oh, and it's also been busy because of just something else I've been working on. I spent, um, about 736 okay. hours. you guys, <laughs> take a deep breath because this is going to knock your socks off. I, I spent about 700 hours on my website, which I'm old. Technology, as you can tell by this being our second start, is not my friend. So, um, but you know how when you go to buy something at the store and you can't find your size, you can't find the color, you don't like the way it fits, so what do I do? I go and buy a purse because that never does you wrong. Yeah, I mean, it's the same with my massive earring collection. Yeah. People are like, why do you have so many earrings? They always fit. They always I don't have fit. to go to a fat yeah. girl store to buy earrings. <laughs> To buy them anywhere. Come on, people. <laughs> so, I would buy beads. I love beads. I, I don't know what it is about it. I had, it was about two years ago, shame, I'm ashamed of myself. And I... I have fabric, you have beads. And what am I going to do with them? I just bought them because I had a place local that I bought from. And not, and I bought from Michael's and I bought from Joanne's. And I'd see them, oh, isn't that pretty red? Oh, isn't that, you know? I had five floss boxes full of beads. Now, what am I going to do with them? And I was a little afraid that if I passed away before Tom and they ran across these. Another thing we'll hand all along with your scissors. So I told Jane, I said, if I die, the first thing you do, cry a little and get over there and get those beads up. Don't let anybody see. No. <clears throat> so I decided I was going to fob because that's a big thing. Everybody fobs. So I thought, why not? I spent hours, hours at my ironing board. I lowered it to sitting height for my office chair. And I had them on two TV trays. It was just this area. And I'd sent Jane a video of, look at my beads. Oh, and she goes, God. oh, that would be bad news oh. for you. <clears throat> so, anyways, so you pinched and grabbed for many, many, many hours. I, that's what wrecks my hands, pinching and grabbing. Because I had better hands-on, hands-on, than with tools. Because with a shaky hand, I'd rather have the grip right at my fingertips than trying to grip. A tool. Anyways. Pinch and grabbing M&M's is not nearly as no. destructive yeah. as these. So oh I have God. no idea how to even show these, but I thought what I'd do is I would put them on the board and then maybe we could hold them up a little bit at a time. 
Oh. I stood on the little sorry stool. Remember that from yes. Elizabeth? <laughs> we, I had a, a wooden stool. And I call when I did daycare. I, I watched Jane's little darling daughter. And I had, I called it the sorry stool. That was the big era of timeout. And I, I'm like, I don't do timeout. I know. So I made her sit on the sorry stool and she had to sit there until she could tell me why she was sorry. And she's very stubborn. Yeah, so, so I put it over she was by the, the water, front door. Sure. And that one day when you came to pick her up, yeah. we were sitting in the kitchen and she comes and she puts this little wooden stool right at Jane's feet. And Jane goes, what do you got the sorry stool for? And she said, Joe, she called me Joey. She goes, Joey made me sit on it. Like, what did you do? <laughs> she goes, and she, I said, tell your, you know, why did you have to sit on the sorry stool? She goes, because Joey was mad. <laughs> so I have how many years? 26 years. I still have that little. So it was kind of dangerous for this, all this grandma-ness to be standing. <laughs> all that grandma goodness. <laughs> on that stool. But I did. And I drilled with the drill press, the little holes in the thimbles. And I wanted, here, you can show if you sure. want, but <clears throat> the fun Ooh, let part. let the fobs out. Ooh, <laughs> ooh, let me get this ooh, one out ooh, because the in the bottom out. of the thimble, then there's a matching little bead oh, to hold it on. Oh, Yeah, and of course, they each have a scissor because we're running. Yes. And then I picked up at a couple of other places that I haunt. Um, little enamel oh, um, charms. Love that. And the little filigree heart. So each one has a scissor one. or a heart on it. So, oh, so man. these are baubles. These are on swivel hooks. Great for a tote bag. Um, one a, of your a zipper. major project bags. Yep. Or, you know, they're a little big for a floss drop, but I do have um, smaller ones for floss drops that I enclose or in, for, in an order. for scissor fobs. Yes. And then we've got the longer fobs. I'm oh shaking my hands. Okay, wait, I have here. to look now. Okay. These were really fun. Um, oh, my God. Do. There's a sock monkey and my a chicken. favorite. I saw those sock monkey beads, and I'm like, I've got to have them. I think I ordered, I don't know, 15, 20 of them. Oh, my God. And the, look, at the and roost, look at the rooster. Yep, there's a rooster. And this, the and second the one in, monkey. this this one, or second one in from your side, this one, has a little lamp work square bead with a tiny blackbird on it. I just, you know, some of them are from Michael's. They look familiar. Um, Joanne's, Hobby Lobby. But um, a lot of them are from this other place that I buy beads locally. And, I, and they're like 8 to 10 years old. So I thought I'm going to share my bead collection. And Tom, I had them all out. I was inventorying them. I was putting the final scissors. They didn't have scissors on, so I put the scissor charms all on. And he came and he said, so, how's that going down there? And I said, it's going. <laughs> and it's taking me with it. <laughs> and he said, um, so like what? You got like 100 down there? And I went, no. I don't have a hundred. No, I mean, who would do that? He goes, do you have like, what, 60 of them? And I went, no. And he goes, well, how many? And I said, do you love me? <laughs> I said, there are 184 <laughs> fobs and bobbles. I am horrible. I don't even know 184 uh, people to give them money. I don't even know how you still have <laughs> fingers that function. They don't. <laughs> I would have like just little crab like claws. That's our, they are. Like, they are fried. But what a fun way to go, huh? <laughs> Can't hold my toothbrush, yeah. but I made some awesome fun. And if someone was so inclined, is oh. this something they can get a hold of? Yes. They're on, and that's what I did all week. Um, I had a little website issue. Um, my web guy said, I found a workaround. So as I just finished putting in, this this is just a fraction. I think I counted, oh there's God. 48 different styles. So yeah, you been, didn't know that, did you? You thought you had them all. Oh no, no. So 
Um, I had put them all in with a description, and long story short, I had to do it all over again. Can you see the sock monkey? And I had gotten that little flat disc, oh thinking it was a bead that would go through this way for the flower, but it was flat, and I thought, well, this is dumb. No, I can't use this, but it was perfect for his collar, because all sock monkeys that have collars. sock monkey kills me, and look at the chicken. With that little bead that I thought looked perfect like an egg. So, oh yeah, gosh. fun. I do want to say, because my new web guy, um, he Where said... Where did you find all these guys? <laughs> on the other side of town. <laughs> you live on this side, I live on the other That's side. That's right, I'm an east sider. <laughs> well, I'm on the west side, so... <laughs> the pre prestigious West Bloomington. <laughs> well, I don't know about... I'm not that far west. Right. <laughs> but um, he told me, because I wanted to make sure... Jane, just because it's in your cart does not mean it's saved for you. And since these are, I won't say one of a kind because there's a hundred. These are first come, first fobbed. Yeah, if first come, first fobbed. So if you've got it in your cart, actually um, check out. Because I think he said oh, if I see works the same way. If I got the lingo right, in four hours your cart will be flushed. Ooh. Yeah. Because like I'm that. this is what I'm afraid of. Talking shop and logistics. Someone's gonna put it in their cart, they're gonna um check out, and there won't be one there. Oh and then they've already paid somebody for it through PayPal and then I have to issue a credit. I cannot make any more. All of the novelty beads have been used. So look at that one. Isn't that beautiful? Owl. That little bird, it's oh. so cool. So anyways, I had a lot of fun with them. Now it's time to Black um to there. have them move Release up. them into Release the wild. Release them, yes. Let the fox out. <laughs> I already great. sang once, I'm not going to sing again. <clears throat> no. Oh, those are amazing. Um, oh my gosh. I know. And try to tell, I was telling the web guy, okay, I've got like... 48 different units. I need very vari variable drop downs so I can list them individually. And he goes, what are you selling? I said, well, it's a fob or a bobble. And he goes, pardon me. And I said, okay, he's a guy, a young guy. I said, it's like jewelry for scissors. It's like bracelets. I make bracelets really for, scissors. for scissors. And, and he goes, okay. He had no clue. Whatever you say, old lady, yeah. I'll help you out. <laughs> so that took up a tremendous amount more time than I oh wanted to gosh. even think about. But they're all loaded on the website. Everything's up oh to date. God. And, um, yeah, have fun looking. It's uh, And thank you for letting me share. Because it really was something, you know, I said it's been a long time since I've uh, enjoyed doing something, you know, where you thought, wow, that was a fun way to spend the entire afternoon, and now you're telling me I have to make dinner? <laughs> yeah, what's that all about? Gee, is that, yeah. The words, are, the words my husband hears most often at this, house, at this house is, hey, the grub is in the house. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> what I mean. Oh, my gosh. Oh, those are amazing, Julie. Well, thanks for letting me share yeah. those. And if we'll put the link to Julie's website in the description box yeah. in case you need to get your fob on. Yeah. So, oh my God, we're still rolling. So that's good. Whoop, we whoop. haven't, we haven't uh, cut out yet. We haven't faded to black. So now, according to my list, because yep, I have a list because it's been a heck of a week. It goes to Jane. You're up. Do you have any finishes? I do not have any current finishes. But oh. if you remember a few episodes back from the drawer, um, Julie rummaged through and found the gratitude sampler and I put a rumor out into the universe that it may escape from the drawer and someday become a real finish like Pinocchio became a real boy. Yep. Well, drum roll please. With the help from my guy. <laughs> the help from Julie's guy and Julie, we bring you the gratitude sampler. Yeah. Ah, uh, maze balls. My frame guy's name is Brian and I didn't know about him till about uh, two years ago. <laughs> I didn't realize he lived four blocks from my house is where his company is. He is very, he's got a beautiful uh, collection of frames. 
And so I brought this piece in with mine and we chose some frames and I shot Jane a, a screenshot of them and let her choose which ones. And um, I think it's it fits all the other. Yeah, it's just you know, stunning. Just stunning. <clears throat> it was very nice. Yeah, thank Be you careful. so it's much. It's still a little hot because I just finished it. <laughs> I kept oh, yeah. telling her, please don't hurt your hands. I will pin it. I framed a lot of things. I will pin it. I'm happy to pin it. She's like, well, maybe I'll just kind of get it situated in there. Yeah. Um, and then you can actually pin it. And I'm like, okay, please don't hurt yourself. And then last night she sends me a picture. What is she doing? Pinning it. Well, I pinned it. Now she had shown interest in lacing. So we weren't, don't show the back, but we, I didn't leave. Well, you know what I'm going to do then? I'm going to show the back. <laughs> we, we, um, left it, uh, raw because I'm not, oh, your pop. Um. <laughs> That back. was a total mom reaction. Oh Something's going to spill. <laughs> oh, hold the chest area. <laughs> Something's going to fall. Um, oh, my God. So we left the back open yeah. because um, she wanted to learn how to lace. So yeah. if you want to do it on this piece or not. But I just wanted to get it done. Yeah. Um, so it's like full finished. It's, an, it's still an FFO, but it's fully, full, fully, fully, fully finished. finished. Yeah. So yeah. Yeah. I love it. <clears throat> it's gone from... From um, the drawer of no return to probably the place where I keep my feral finishes, which is <laughs> plastic pans in the closet. Your feral finish. Another phrase of FFO. <laughs> yeah, feral, fu fully finished <laughs> objects. Oh, yeah. Thank you so much. Oh, you're welcome. We'll oh. see you tomorrow. <laughs> my hands. Yeah, just <clears throat> gorgeous. And I was like, money's no object. Just pick whatever you need. I mean, I would love to be able to go to my, by myself, but I have um, health issues that prevent me from being able to walk very well or stand for a, lim a, a extended period of time. So I just sent it to Julie. Do whatever you think best. Send me some pictures. Money's no object. And so we picked out a couple of things, and I'm like, oh, I make sure... You send me a bill, and I'm like looking how much is my savings account and the whole thing. And then she said, oh, this frame was blah, 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 and this frame was blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, are you sure? Like, did you steal them? He is, um, he's amazing. Uh, a amazing. wholesale framer that's open to the public. And um, he, he knows his stuff. He, um, he does needlework. He asked if I he would do some, some stretching for him because his gal uh, retired and I said, I can't, I, I just can't with my hands. But um, he's a real nice young guy and uh, he, he's he got some beautiful frame moldings. Happy to so, give him the business. Yeah, and so I will. I yeah. said, I've been gone for a while. He said, I thought you retired. I go, I retired, but I still stitch and I still got- Yeah, I'm not dead. Many of stuff to show. So was that your only finish? Didn't you have anything else? No, you're not. <laughs> oh my gosh. Well, no, I <clears throat> I have oh a mess. You have some beautiful I have some things messy things going on. Okay, one of them I took off my wall because it too is a, a not current finish, but one that I really like. It came from a fine collection. Black Blackbird. Blackbird. Is this an OOP? I I think it is. Yeah. Otherwise, it's a, a secondary market type thing. Very hard to find. So, what would that be? A VHF? <laughs> a very hard. You know, I I really don't know the status on it. The piece I've done several, and this one that I brought to share is called um, August Watermelon. August Melon. And this frame was from my frame guy as well. It looks like it's leather. Oh my God. That is so great. It's, I love that. Look, just look at that frame. Yeah. Isn't it just cool? Yeah. And this sits... Um, Such a nice texture on it. On the wall behind Tom's chair. And that's what I change out seasonally. Yeah, so it yeah. Looks like it's... 
And I did, like I said, I've done several from this book. And when I was leafing through to find it, I'm like, oh, well, I think I might be doing a couple more because... You were inspired from, for yes. some future starts? Yeah, well, look at this on the back. Oh, maybe you could do that on 40 counts. If we... <laughs> Is there any over one in it? I shall scour the pattern to make sure <laughs> over one. And then remember, I did um, the Garland Fair. Yes. That had over one on 32 count, which just we about remember. killed me. <laughs> well, I've got that. For... <laughs> this is just it's appropriate for today. Day and a half. Oh, man. Oh, oh that's gorgeous. Am I gorgeous. crooked? Well, I'm just going to zoom in. Now, when we pick this that frame out, Brian is like... I go right to the wall and I'm like, I like this one and I like this one. And he comes with a small, you know, really subtle. And I'm like, I want like gnarly. I want it all like, I, I want, want like this, substantial. And he goes, well, it's quite a small. Chomp. It's a small piece. And I go, but I just want it, you know, kind of like in the 80s, we had shoulder pads to offset the hips. I have natural <laughs> shoulder pads, but I remember. <laughs> I like big hair. Like, that's going to draw their attention there instead of my hips. So I wanted a big frame because even though it's a small piece. And he goes, okay, I understand that. But what I want you to know is it's the most expensive molding I have in the shop. And I, did, I pulled a J and I went, and... <laughs> The heart wants what the heart ah, wants. Oh, ah. it's, it's gorgeous. I It's very simplistic, but I love it. Yeah, it's gorgeous. I have no idea where I'm going to put it, so I might just, like, hold it. Well, couldn't it go on your red sampler wall? It could, but um, it could, but it, not yet, because I don't want to have it just sitting there all alone with that big red one. It's be off balanced, you know. So, no, not yet. I, I, I want to talk to you prior to the show. I, want, I wanted to talk to you about doing that other sampler from Imaginating. Um, the because, flower basket. Well, I asked her now, do I have to do them all on the same fabric? Or can I, no. you know, I don't, I don't know what look I want. And that makes it kind of hard to know what to do moving forward. Do you know? Do you have an idea, though? <clears throat> do you want it on... Like size wise, do you want to stitch it on a 32 count or a I'll have to 30? see what the dimensions are. Okay. Because right now it's only eight and a half by eleven <laughs> pictures. So I'll have to see how big You'll have to do is. some math. Oh maybe we can do it together. I struggle <laughs> yeah. with math this week too. No, that's not gonna be good. Okay, so now oh do you have a hardinger update? A I do have a hardinger program. Update. Okay, sorry you guys have to dig. I finished the buttonhole on my yellow doily. Oh no. You dropped your ball. I dropped I dropped the ball. <laughs> Literally. Typical. <laughs> Typical. She's taking I don't wanna, needles. I don't want to drop the needles. Okay, that must be the front. So here I am with my finished buttonhole. It's beautiful. The next thing we'll have to work on is our lighting. We seem to get the camera okay now, but the lighting is... And that's a very uh, sad thing to say for a photographer. I don't know. We have to work on our lighting. Yeah, but, but we're we'll not... We'll work on our lighting. I kind of like to have me in my shadow here. Look, we could make light. <laughs> Are we going to have pie today? Can we have something. pie? Something. <laughs> we need something today. So I will... Start on the cutting and the, the oh. wrapping. Uh, Hardanger might get put away for a little while because I have some photography obligations coming up. Ooh, I and have that's to hear about gonna, that. Um, that's going to take a little bit of time. Um, so, yeah. And then you will show us some of your photography. Do I have to go down to the photo room? downstairs and dig through and find some things and hang them on the wall back here no i mean i think <laughs> i think zero people came here to see my photography oh that's not true i no 
think no, it is. No, it's beautiful. Okay, if you want to see it, just plain Jane on Instagram, you can go take yep. a look in your spare time. Take a look. It's so, beautiful. Yeah. I, Have you been beautiful. hard and angry? <clears throat> yes. All right. No. Oh, boy. This I, is... I need a well, sip. Well, make sure you don't <laughs> spill it on this now. I pressed this just for you because <laughs> it was just a oh, hot oh, mess. Oh, of course you did. It was a hot mess because it has been shoved in the bag since we were up at the North Shore. What? Nine years ago or eight years ago. Is it ago. really that long ago? It, well, when I worked on oh. this. Okay, so I'm just kind of going to go like this. Holy hand. It's just something I started on a half yard of fabric. I just happened to have a half yard laying around. So this is how it's going, right? Going, going, going. Yeah, now we're getting oh, up to this I love this the colors. Oh, yeah. my God. Okay, so here we are. I had to unroll it. I should have unrolled it the other way. But here's my problem. Bella has a room at my house. It's my foo-foo room where I have all my non-primitive things, my an some antiques and everything like that. So let's just do a close-up here. I'm just doing plain wrap bars around the outside, and I think I... Let's see if I can find it. Maybe you can... Oh, I thought I started with the other wrap. Oh, right here. So this... It's going to have the adjoining wrap oh. on the inside on the other 700 feet. So see that right there at the bottom is it showing, Jane? Yeah. Yep. Okay. So when I wanted to do, and the room, the walls are painted blue, and then all the accents are shades of blue, and I've got quilts, and I've got a iron um, trundle bed, a white one. I was going to say, do you have an iron in every room? <laughs> Iron, iron trundle, trundle bed. bed. Okay. So um, when I pulled the fiber, as we all do in the stores, we're like, oh, I like that. And then you go ahead and you lay it on the fabric and you go, oh, I really like that. I like that a lot. So then I thought, well, I'll need something for wrapping. Now, um, number pearl cut number 12 has gotten even more obsolete with color really, choices really hard to at find. the local needlework stores. And both stores. Anchor and DMC. Yep. So I chose um, DMC 224. So then, of course, for the cross stitch, because I don't know if you focused in on that when I flipped it real quick, it actually has um, cross stitch in there. Yep. So, yep, Please. yep, cross stitch. So I started in, of course, the companion. I thought this... This was a little orange, but it looked really well for the cable. So yeah. I went with the floss in 225, and I don't like it. I think it's washed out. I then maybe a little more peach. Yep, yeah, a little dusty, dirty. So I told Jane, <clears throat> I'm going to take out all the cross stitch. <coughs> Excuse me. <laughs> You okay there? You okay there? Holy I want to take out all the cross stitch, which I didn't think would be a problem until there's eyelets in the middle. And I'm like, oh, I don't know if I can. So before I do that, I went through all my pinks. Now, I don't know. I had something here. If this pink is a good pink or not. Because I'm not going to do it if it's not going to look right. So I'm going to go like this. Oh, you're a little stabby today. Yes, I am. Watch out. So I don't know if that will be a better <coughs> pink me. or not. It Will it make it pop or will it make it draw away from it? You know, when you go to match things with these wound, you don't really know what color is going to be dominant, you know, once you're stitching mm -hmm. in it. And I'm like, to me, instead of the lighter um, being dominant in the variegade of the cluster blocks. It goes blocks. really well with this. Here. Yeah, the it's darker part of the, the darker part of the variegade. So that's kind of like my Hardinger dilemma, because um, and looking at this, I'm like, well, let it be a dilemma, because the odds of me actually being able to finish this are pretty slim, I think. And is this a, something that you designed? Yes, uh, and it's on. It's sketched out. It's not even. It's not even by the charting program. I just started it and kind of built. <laughs> Stop it. 
built off of it. I still have nice handwriting. Very nice. Very nice. So that that's gorgeous. That's like my dilemma. So I thought, you know, I'll pull it out and see why start another Hardanger piece when, you know, God only knows it'll take me, what, 110 years to even roll this one up. I don't know what that so, has to do with anything. Well, but I, I pressed it. I thought Says that was the girl good. that has like eight or nine Hardanger pieces oh, started. Yeah, exactly. So that that's my Hardanger kind of update. So that uh, that's all I got, folks. But... That brings us to da, 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 delightful deliveries. Did you receive anything? I did. I believe they're over. They almost went on the things. floor. So in the delightful details video, we talked about um, alternative things to use instead of glue. And I thought maybe the finishing dots hmm. would be good. So I ordered some in case you guys haven't seen them. So these are from It's So Emma on the Fat Quarter shop but these are the um three quarter inch i've never dots. seen them before and i i'm really going to be um anxious to give them a try yeah. I, these are these are for you oh, I'm pack well, my own. thank you and then they come in one and a half inch and i thought the one and a half inch would be perfect for putting those two circles together yep, you know something that that's similar in that size and have for the we put batting on top of a circle so you could use it for that that too. That I'm and they're not thick. They really are um, like a piece of that brown double stick tape yep. with one side being adhered to like the waxy paper mm -hmm. and then the brown part peels off and is um, sticky as well. So I bought one of these. There's 144 of these dots. So we'll just divide these. Yeah, that we'll would be great. Have Thank pie you. Later. Thank you. So there's that. And then I also went on a small uh, plum street sampler binge again and I bought live on little I know a lot of people oh are um and what is it with that pattern it. that that I don't know I just am drawn to that as well and yeah. both of us said it's like that blue of the water just sets so. it off and then that's the and most, there's such nice texture in the house yes and, and the border it's yeah. just I might have to get and that then one. this is this is the day I love this one as well. I love that house. The flowers are super cheery. Very nice. Yeah. And then this, I think when this, this is going to be my next start. And this is called um, A Shepherd's Song. And this oh, is from the, there's the 23rd sheep. Psalm. May goodness and mercy follow thee. I like that a lot. So I will be going through my bin of fabric. And May I join you? Yes, of course. So those two new things, um, carded, cotton, cottage garden samplings, October 31st. I'm kind of in the mood to do autumn. I have that one. Yeah, maybe we could do I a start along. Wouldn't that be weird if that's the one I was going to pull, but I thought, oh, I'll leave that for later in the fall, and we both would have had it. Oh, that's yeah. spooky. And then a couple from La Dee Da. This is called Bushel and a Peck. Just love that. I think I have that one, too. And this one is done with all DMC. I just love the colors. It's so cheery. And did your mom sing that to you? My mom. My dad did. Oh, my mom always yeah, sang that Yeah, it's one of the memories me. I have of my dad. And then this yeah. one is called Me and You. Come sit down, just me and you. I love this one as well. Oh. So these will be on my radar for starts next. For your <clears throat> future whips? For my, a future whip. Oh, I like And then that. my monthly color in cotton came. Um, this is 32 count barley. And it is beautiful. Oh, that might be perfect for that sample. <laughs> for my red sampler. Yeah, it might be perfect for uh, one of the one of the Palm Streets, too. We'll have to oh, maybe yeah. the arm wrestle for it. And then look at this. These are the colors <gasps> that came. Oh, look. And can it. you imagine? Oh. Those colors on that. Look at how warm. Oh, just stunning. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Way cool. I really have to stop, you guys. I no. I really technically should never have to buy anything again as long as I live and still could stitch 24 hours a day until I yeah. leave the ground and not even touch like what I have, but you know, it's I won't part stop. of the journey. 
And my husband still is not yet taking my phone when he goes to sleep. So I'm left to my own devices. So yeah, that's me. What about you? Well, I actually was sitting on the front step waiting for one of my delightful deliveries to come. It's circling somewhere between who knows where and not my house. So, I mean, I even thought, I know the route he takes, so if he's parked down on this street, I'll just show my driver's license and say, can you please stop? I'm going to film. And I'm can the package it. please come yeah. off of the truck? So, um, we're wait, that'll be next time. But I had gotten this, and I kind of, oh, gee, look, it's red. But Okay, when, you, when I first saw it in the bag, I thought it said reindeer fried steak. <laughs> what? Like, Where? Merry oh, Christmas. Reindeer feed <laughs> sack. Merry Christmas, everybody. We're having fried, fried Ru rain. Rudolph come for dinner. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> Oh, my, oh my gosh, now I've that's, lost my... That's terrible. So, yeah. <laughs> Reindeer fried steak. So, this is stitched on, um, well, fabric that... <laughs> that has very small holes in it. <laughs> this is stitched on... Thir oh, I didn't focus in on that. It's 30... Let's look again, kids. It's 32 count tin roof gingham. From Weeks oh. Dye Works. Did you focus in on that? I that didn't. It was checked? Well, I thought it was reindeer fried steak. <laughs> yeah, it so was I can't dinner. Remember. Oh, it's very subtle, but yeah. it's great. So yeah. I don't know. And, and of course, I'm not prepared. So if it's 30 count. So it's like the design size is uh, five and a half by 11. So I... I don't know if I want to go smaller or if I want to do something like this. You know how I like to do things on um, 18 count linen. You yeah. Have the, oh, uh, the texture on that yeah. would be great. And we'll look, they also them. have sheep fried steak and chicken <laughs> fried steak. No. Oh, I didn't, I haven't taken it out. Look at how cute they are on the back. Oh, Darn it, now I'm going to have to go back on the no, web. You've As done Tom's it. mom would say, the World Wide Web and look for those. the wah wah wah. <laughs> so that's. Oh, those are awesome. Yeah. Yeah, the fried steaks are at the bottom. So what, <laughs> what do you think about making that bigger? Like, like a sack, like to hang maybe on a door? I think if you did it on 18 count, you know, the kind of stuff that. I do the shepherd's bush stockings yep. on. It really would look like a burlap yeah, feed sack. Yeah, over two. And maybe yeah. I could use, since it's just two threads, two um, colors. Yeah, could use maybe pearl Maybe I cotton. could do a pearl cotton. I have some 18 <sighs> count because there are 27 shepherd's bush patterns for stockings, and they're mm -hmm. all done in 18 count, so I had to have 27 pieces of fabric. Well, yeah. I don't know 27 people that would want Shepherd's Bush Christmas stockings either. But. Well, there's four at, five, four at my house right now that have, like, believe it or not, I have, like, not from Walgreens, but the stockings are, like, velvet. They're not even stitched. I had stitched ones when the kids were You little, should be hanging your head in shame right now. <laughs> A stitcher lives in that house, and they've got generic... Well, I... Now, listen, listen to me, listen to me. Watch my lips, as your daughter used to say. I had prairie schooler ones, oh. but you know, when the kids moved out, I was sad, and I didn't want to hang just our two without their, you know, so I packed them away for them to have. And then when Miss Bella came, I mean, Tom and I, we didn't really need a stocking, but then when Miss Bella came along, she's got her pink princess one, you know, oh. I mean, because you're stuffing it with stuff. You're not going to, she wanted, you know, when they're little, you stuff it with Santa stuff. And See, I'm, I'm gonna... a terrible mom because E.B. has had a Christmas stocking since she was little. And I never put anything in it. Oh, we, we put a lot of stuff. Yep. But anyways, so I, I think... Uh... <laughs> This has been a very, very unusual, what did you call it? It's our Cinco de, Cinco de Floss tube. Oh, geez. 
Sure, it's not Day of the Dead the way it's going. So, <laughs> dead men walking. That's what are awesome. we gonna do? Um, wind this show up? I think that would be best for everybody. <laughs> Something's got to be done. Wow, I just really, this is something else. I think we need to go back to a script, and we need to both have a better week than we did coming into this one. I'm not going back to a script. Well, That's hey, fine. look, we're, we still, we're still we're uh, still filming. We haven't blanked out. That's a out. good sign. That's so, a really good sign. I'll let you take it over. Okay. So we will see you again soon. Again, please leave some comments for ideas on what you would like mm -hmm. to see for the next tutorial, for the next delightful detail. We'll be back in a couple of weeks, three weeks, two I think, or three weeks. Yeah, I think we we'll we're trying to get on that two-week schedule. The two-week train. <clears throat> yeah, trying to. So. so until we see you next time, um, lots of health and happiness to all of you. Uh, we wish you the abundance of things that make you happy. And until we see you next time, happy stitching, everybody. Yeah, see you again soon. Bye-bye.